at the beginning I began to realise that I'm not remembering things. It was, it was quite, I was very upset about it but I didn't tell anybody else because I knew that this is the beginning of the beginning. Time for Dementia is a project that responds to the fact that even a, a great medical course like the one that we've set up here at Brighton and Sussex Medical School has a focus on acute episodes of illness rather than understanding how long-term and chronic illnesses affect patients. And so what Time for Dementia seeks to do is to enable our students to understand what it's like to have an illness that is not treated in a single episode in a general hospital by providing them with a long-term exposure to a family that is affected by dementia. Two medical students come and visit us uh, two or three times a year and ask all sorts of questions and take copious notes and hopefully that helps them with their understanding of the practicalities of living with dementia. And also, um, they've confirmed to me the deterioration that happens uh, even today when they were here. They noticed a difference in Christine's condition from last time. It's a different experience from being on the wards and meeting patients with dementia because you might see a snapshot of their lives mm. but you don't see how they progress or what they were like beforehand whereas mm. I feel like we really have with Christine. It's about appreciating that people can live well with dementia. Quite often students experience people in acute crisis and that can often cloud perception of dementia and the impact. It's very hard to get that across when you're trying to talk about dementia in terms of lecture or reading about it. That's the thing about this project. We can't teach what they're learning. We hope that more people will choose to work with older people. People believe that if you can't get the illness fixed then there's nothing you can do. What we're hoping is that this programme will encourage people to be optimistic about the things that we can do to enable people to live well even with complex and difficult illnesses like dementia.